Recently, it has been known that Top Kent, according to George Simmons, happened right after the break. Despite all this, there is just something that doesn't line up. The literal definition of Top Kent is the sudden jolting upwards, or in terms of construction, a change in angle, canting to cant, an external angle, an inclination from a horizontal line, a jerk to throw with the jerk or to tilt. George Simmons' testimony follows as he says, I stood up and watched it till I heard two sharp explosions in the ship. What they were, I could not say. Then she th suddenly took a top cant. Her stern well came out of the water. Then, you know what I mean to say, she took a heavy cant and her bow went down clear. He then explains further that the bow went down clear without no mentions of the breakup. Head down, and that's the time I saw her lights go out. All of her lights. The next thing I saw her poop. As she went down like that, so her poop righted itself. And I thought to myself, the poop is going to float. And I could not have been more than two minutes or three after that. Her poop went out straight as anything. George Simon would then talk that the poop went out as straight as anything. This is referring to the vertical sinking right after the breakup. As after he said, the poop righted itself as he claimed. It was a sound like a steady thunder as you hear on an ordinary night as in the distance. And soon she disappeared from view. They then proceeded to ask what George Simmons meant by the stern writing itself at one point. He explains It righted itself without the bow. In my estimation, she must have broken in half. I should think myself it was above the after expansion plates. What's different here is the old interpretation of Top Cat, which is widely believed to have happened after the breakup, seems different. This is if this were to happen, it wouldn't really line up with other accounts. The definition of Top Cat, which is widely believed to have happened after right after the breakup, is wrong. What seems described here is the first Top Cat happened, the lights went out, and finally the breakup. To align with the others. Take Boxhall as example. Bo too, just as the ship rounds the stern, the lights went out first, according to him, and darkness followed. He saw nothing of the ship afterwards. Majority of the passengers report the lights going out after the breakup, like such of those as Lawrence Beasley. For those who saw the lights after the break were from the emergency dynamos that were located from below the fourth panel that were powered within, which would switch on and could give small light to the ship for about 30 seconds or one minute. Now if we try to align this with Simmons' testimony being the top cant happening first and the lights going out, if we were to take the context of top cant happening after the breakup, it wouldn't align with the majority who saw the breakup after the lights went out. So the word top cant after the breakup is wrong. As what Simmons said, Head down, and that's the time I saw her lights go out. All of her lights. The next thing I saw her poop. As she went down like that, so her poop righted itself. And I thought to myself, the poop is going to float. He mentions the stern riding itself right after the rising or top can, or the breakup, taking place right after the top can. Therefore, the top can is basically an event during the final plunge and not during the breakup. What we discovered with a friend of mine, Jal statement as we studied regarding the breakup in Simmons, we just find it difficult or hard to align with Simmons and his and other accounts, especially with his definition of the top can. Then we remember that the maximum angle of the ship could could endure was right around 17 to 23 degrees, and finally breaking at the high angle of 26 to 30. We then remembered that the second funnel fell right after the breakup. To make this have sense, we correlated it with other accounts to see if anything else matched. Take Lightoller as example, he saw the ship take a slight but definite plunge, and not just moments later, he claims to see the ship already at an angle of 60 degrees. What this shows is that rather the both final plunge and breakup was very rapid, it was a very rapid event, and was confusing for him, showing or giving us the idea that at one point the ship dropped dramatically. A second thing to correlate with this is the fact that regarding the second funnel, people describe it not falling or even falling during the breakup, which is quite confusing, leading to the question what happened in between the breakup and the fall of the second funnel. The definition of top cant means a sudden change in angle, then if we fix this trying to correlate and find connections between the accounts, they recall seeing the second funnel fall and then not seconds later the breakup.
breakup occurs. This gives us a rough estimate of about 20 to 30 seconds. Yet again, here are testimonies seeing the second funnel not fall or at times seeing it fall right after the breakup, which does not align with the accounts. Now, to counter this, we are to decrease the time gap between the second funnel funnel falling and break up from 20 seconds down to 10 to 15. Titanic when the second funnel fell was roughly at an angle of 14 to 20 degrees. Now with the definition of top camp being the sudden rising or change in angle, now it lines up finally with every testimony. The second funnel falling seconds before the breakup would confuse when the funnel exactly fell, as the time interval is short, and then the top can being the rapid plunge of the ship as water flooded in the base of the second funnel and ventilations in the area. Forensics and analysis has been done and has proven of what will happen. Shows the sinking rapidly changing right after the second funnel floods, and every time a vent gets submerged or after the first funnel fell, their forensic, our forensic findings show that it starts to plunge rapidly and faster. And just right after the second funnel fell, it would was just all of a huge gaping hole which was left after the second funnel collapsed. With all those, the ship would rapidly rise to a high angle from 14 degrees in just 10 to 15 seconds, which is very rapid if it were to be considered. Hence, top can't. Later on, if another fellow Titanic enthusiast, Game Player Z, but mostly known as Hugo, ended up with the same conclusion that the fact that the final plunge was the top cant itself, as the rapid changing in angle is what the top cant just meant. Later on, uh, another fellow Titanic enthusiast, which is known as Dr. Wacky or Jaden, mostly known in the Titanic community, would have named it the plunge cant, a sudden change in angle as the ship took its final plunge.